thousands of people believing in this stuff, then that reinforces the belief system, and the thousands of people then become the guardians of their truth because they're the believers in the system, and they're going to make sure that this guardians of this truth, they're going to make sure that that truth goes on no matter what. Okay? Lots of sideways logics in human beings because human beings have one thing and all have one thing in common. Okay? And that's called H E M G. Human emotional mental garbage. That means that because they're human, they have an emotional body that absorbs things on an emotional level, almost extinctual level. And that the emotions and chaotic feelings then manifest as some kind of mentality that is fed in, and the end result is garbage that comes out. Now a lot of times garbage, you can't tell what garbage is because when you look at the garbage, sometimes the garbage looks pretty damn good. Oh man, that garbage looks good. Let's see, garbage could be Okay, so now we're going to discuss the nature of sideways logic because this is one of the biggest culprits in the human mind. Sideways logic is where somebody could can concoct something so absolutely feasible that it sounds like it's the truth, except for one thing. It's not. And the way you determine whether sideways logic is in the picture or not is by the scientific process. And I, I learned the scientific process when I was quite young. And I learned it the old traditional way where conjecture really isn't science. Conjecture is guessing. So in, to find, find the truth, you have to look at the premise. Okay? The first thing you want to do when somebody tells you something, okay, is you always go to the premise. And not just any old premise, but the final premise that they're leading you to. If you want to find out whether it's nonsense or not, have them take you to the final premise first. That's your first clue. Never ever follow a path that is thought out for you. In other words, if people have are keepers and guardians of the truth, then they're going to set up a method whereby it's guaranteed that you're going to learn the same truth. And they can do it with curriculums, they can do it with indoctrinations, they can do it with anything that you want that will create the desired effect that you're going to be a believer in something that's full of falsehoods. So, my father taught me never to believe anybody. Okay? So the first thing you should think is, well, maybe I shouldn't believe him. Maybe there's somebody out there you can actually believe. Okay? So I took the premise of, don't believe anybody. Okay? And I decided to test that premise out on a lot of people. I still do it today. And the premise of whatever they believe, okay, if I can find a hole or find one single thing about it that's not true, then it's not true. The scientific principle is that you start with the premise, the hypothesis, you create a theory or a method of testing that hypothesis, and then you test it, and you attack it from all different angles, okay? And it's one thing about any principle in life that it goes like this, is that the premise is either true or it's full of human emotional mental garbage, thus not proven, okay? So when people start attacking with rationality, okay, they can go along and attack it with all kind of ration and reason except for one thing. They might leave out one thing and just block that one from entering the picture because this is where their blindness is. And the blindness is created by human emotional mental garbage that's blocked by some desire 
or some preconceived notion. Preconceived notions are all over the place. Okay? And a preconceived notion is that this is true, so anything that stops that truth from happening, we're going to block it. So they create a blind area where they don't test that logic. They leave something out of the, of the testing of the premise. So if they don't use this testing and they block it out and they never see this, then that arrow gets stopped someplace out here by the blindness and it never gets into the premise to be tested. So if they leave out a plausibility that could disprove it, it's basically false. All the other sideways logic they come up with, okay, will work its way around the blindness and block that blindness out saying, well, that's not, not even something we should even consider. You shouldn't consider this method to test this premise because this method is not a good method. And I go, hmm, whoever came up with that thing, that statement says, this method is not a good method. I'm going, okay, never believe what anybody says. Throughout my entire life, I've always found holes in belief systems. So guess what? When somebody says you should never test something by that method, the first method you should use to test it is usually the method that they block out. Clue one. If there's some method that they're not going to look at which seems obvious to you, then that's the first method you should use to try and test, test a premise with. Okay? The other thing is that you want to find out what the final premise with and work backwards from there. Okay? You never go through a curriculum where they take you through a path that takes you into a condition where you can start believing sideways logic because these people with human emotional mental garbage have ways of using sideways logic on you in the same way that it was used on them to create a new truth system that's completely false. These people are guardians of their truth. I don't care who they are. They're always going to guard their truth. They're going to make sure that you learn their truth the same way that they did so that you come to the same conclusion and make them all happy and they can get their paychecks or whatever it is that they so, so much want.